when we started working on this project, we had many ideas on what to do. We initially thought of explaining how a whip works using a small whip. Later, we thought that building a trebuchet would be more interesting, but at the end, we changed plans and ended up building... Tienen tres, dos, uno... A potato launcher. The potato launcher consists of two main parts, the barrel and the ignition chamber, all made from different sized PVC pipes. The barrel is where we shove the potato and the part where the potato accelerates before exiting it. The ignition chamber is where the gas fuel is ignited, which in our case was hairspray, but can be done with many other fuels such as propane or butane. The ignition mechanism is pretty simple. We took the piezoelectric crystal from one of the lighters we bought and connected it to longer cables, which were connected to a pair of nails that go through the tube of the ignition chamber. The piezoelectric crystal is a mineral that when deformed by a heat, causes the charges within it to move and create a potential difference, which in the end creates the arc at the end of the cables. In our case, the arc is created on the tip of the nails inside the ignition chamber, starting the ignition of the hairspray. Here is where physics ends and chemistry begins. This combustion generates high pressure in the sealed chamber, due to it being an isochoric system. Back to physics. That pressure causes the potato to accelerate oh, upwards oh, through the barrel and thus shooting the deadly projectile. Making this cannon was not an easy task. We first had to gather the materials we would need for the build. We visited a hardware store to buy the PVC pipes the launcher is made of, some glue to stick them together and seal it, and some long lighters for the ignition mechanism. Obviously, we also bought some duct tape, which ended up being one of the most important materials for the build. We were able to put the cannon together in one morning, but making it work was a completely different story. The same day we built it, we tried firing it. Taking the necessary precautions, of course, a potato launcher like this can be very dangerous if used inappropriately. For our surprise, the ignition mechanism worked the very first time, but the pressure was too high for the lid of the ignition chamber and it broke. We tried gluing it together, but it was not making a good seal, so we left it for that day. The next weekend, we tried firing it again with new leads, but the hairspray was not igniting. Even after tweaking some things, such as putting the ignition cables directly in one side of the chamber, instead of using nails in the lid, it did not fire a single time for the whole afternoon. We later discovered that this was probably due to the cold temperature and the amount of air spray. Turns out that optimizing the mixture of fuel and oxygen inside the cannon is very hard and varies from one fuel to another. The next weekend we came back and this time the day was sunny and we knew how much hair spray to use. And you can see the results by yourself. Making some simple calculations, we were able to get the speed of the potato when it exits the barrel and the acceleration through the barrel. 